Uh, I don't know what is going to happen. I know one thing, Joe Biden did not get 80 million votes. And I got 74 million, but there were many ballots thrown away, so I got much more than that. It was a rigged election, 100 percent. In 2016, he thought he was going to lose. And he made it very clear to everybody on the campaign that he was going to say that this was a rigged election and he was going to run with that narrative until the end of his life. All he did in 2020 was to repurpose that branding. All of this is contrived. All of this is premeditated. I was really concerned when a lot of the election meetings sort of went off the grid. They were doing a lot of private meetings on this. Trump really starts to play up the rhetoric of, we need to watch the ballots. And then he started to pressure the Postal Service. I thought to myself, he's doing this on purpose. And I remember thinking to myself, I don't know what's going on there, and I don't want to be any part of that. I think the president, I mean, his first reaction is, is to fight. It's called election day operations. We had lawyers dispatched to all of the key states. We were on guard for it. You couldn't possibly believe that the company counting our vote with control over our vote is owned by two Venezuelans who were allies of Chavez, our present allies of Maduro, with a company whose chairman is a close associate and business partner of George Soros. This was Looney Tunes, and it mentioned every little possible conspiracy you can imagine. So Hugo Chavez of Venezuela is involved, even though he's been dead for seven years. George Soros was, was, is somehow involved. The Clinton Foundation, uh, uh, the, the Democratic officials in big cities. It was a vast conspiracy. And that's when the Dominion operators went in and injected votes and changed the whole system. Globalists, dictators, corporations, you name it. Everybody's against us except President Trump.